The following is a partial list of Israeli civilian casualties in the Second Intifada. According to the International Institute for Counterterrorism, 887, 78% of the 1,137 Israelis killed in attacks from September 2000, 2005 were civilians. Another 8,341 Israelis were wounded during this period, and 5,676 were civilians while 2,665 were security forces. The majority of casualties have been caused by suicide bombings, though Israelis have been killed by planted bombs, shootings, stonings, stabbings, lynchings, rockets, and other methods of attack. A 2007 study of Palestinian suicide bombings that took place from September 2000 through August 2005 found that 39.9% of the suicide attacks were carried out by Hamas, 25.7% by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ, 26.4% by Fatah, 5.4% by the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, PFLP, and 2.7% by other organizations. The youngest victim of the Second Intifada was an Israeli infant who was nine hours old and had not yet been named, though several pregnant women have also been killed. The Israeli civilians' deaths do not show a high regularity in their age or gender distribution, as Palestinian militants chose to attack whichever civilian targets were accessible. The targets included the Dolphin Arium Discotheque Massacre, a place frequented by Israeli youth, and open air markets and public buses, which are disproportionately used by women and the elderly. A number of attacks against Israeli civilians have been considered massacres while others, such as the murder of a pregnant woman and her four young daughters, have been called crimes against humanity. The following is a partial list of Palestinian civilian casualties in the Second Intifada. The portion of the killed since the beginning of the Second Intifada that were civilians is disputed. According to Beit Salem, 4,281 Palestinians were killed and 2,038 of them were civilians. However, Beit Salem has been accused of inflating Palestinian civilian casualties and repeatedly classifying armed terrorists as civilians by the Israeli journalist Caroline Glick, Camera, NGO Monitor, and JCPA. A study conducted by Israel's International Institute for Counterterrorism, ICT, concluded that 1,099 were non combatants, or 35%. According to the study, 103, 9%, were female and 996, 91%, were male. Professor and historian Benny Morris came to a similar conclusion in his 2009 retrospective book One States, Two States, saying that about one-third of the Palestinian deaths had been civilians. Another 609 Palestinian fatalities were inflicted by other Palestinians. During the course of the Second Intifada, a total of 64 foreign citizens were killed. Ian Hook, English UNRWA aid project manager shot and killed by an IDF soldier who mistook a cell phone in his hand for a gun or grenade, in Jenin, November 22, 2002. Rachel Corey, American ISM activist killed in an IDF bulldozer accident on March 16, 2003. Tom Herndahl, English ISM volunteer fatally shot by an IDF sniper in Gaza, April 11, 2003. Ruled accidental. James Miller, Welsh filmmaker shot and killed by the IDF in Gaza, May 2, 2003. No prosecution, as exact cause of death could not be proven. Konstantin Straturilla, 52, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian bomb attack May 10, 2001. Virgil Martinescu, 29, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian bomb attack May 10, 2001. Alexei Lukpaluk, 16, of the Ukraine, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing June 2, 2001. Sergei Panchenko, 20, Ukraine. Killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing June 2, 2001. Giora Balash, 60, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 9, 2001. Shoshana Yehudit, Judy, Greenbaum, 31, from Passaic, New Jersey, United States, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 9, 2001. Rosaria Reyes, 42. Filipino citizen, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing December 2, 2001. Avram, Avi, Boaz, 71, American citizen, kidnapped at a PA security checkpoint in Bait Jela on January 15, 2001, bullet-ridden body found in Bait Sahar. Catherine Berwix, 25, of Switzerland in Turgut and Geist of Turkey, observers at the TIPH, 
killed in Hebron by Islamic Jihad March 26, 2002. Perla Hermiel, 79, of Stockholm, Sweden, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing March 27, 2002. Zuhila Hashi, 47, Chinese citizen, of Jilo, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 12, 2002. Lin Chin Mai, 34, Chinese citizen, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 12, 2002. Chai Zin Chang, 32, Chinese citizen, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 12, 2002. Tatiana Igelsky, 43, of Moldova, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing June 19, 2002. Adrian Andres, 30, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing July 17, 2002. Li Bin, 33, of China, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing July 17, 2002. Janice Ruth Coulter, 36, of New York, U.S., killed by a Palestinian remotely detonated concealed bomb July 31, 2002. It was carried out by an East Jerusalem-based Hamas cell whose members are serving multiple life sentences in Israeli prisons for that attack and others. David Gritz, 24, of Massachusetts, U.S. France, killed by a Palestinian remotely detonated concealed bomb July 31, 2002. It was carried out by an East Jerusalem-based Hamas cell whose members are serving multiple life sentences in Israeli prisons for that attack and others. Marla Bennett, 24, of California, U.S., killed by a Palestinian remotely detonated concealed bomb July 31, 2002. It was carried out by an East Jerusalem-based Hamas cell whose members are serving multiple life sentences in Israeli prisons for that attack and others. Benjamin Blutstein, 25, of Pennsylvania, U.S., killed by a Palestinian remotely detonated concealed bomb July 31, 2002. It was carried out by an East Jerusalem-based Hamas cell whose members are serving multiple life sentences in Israeli prisons for that attack and others. Dina Carter, 37, of Jerusalem, U.S., killed by a Palestinian remotely detonated concealed bomb July 31, 2002. It was carried out by an East Jerusalem-based Hamas cell whose members are serving multiple life sentences in Israeli prisons for that attack and others. Adeline Nikoninen, 37, of the Philippines, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 4, 2002. Rebecca Roga, 40, of the Philippines, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 4, 2002. Jonathan, Yoni, Jesner, 19, of Glasgow, Scotland, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing September 19, 2002. Mircea Varga, 25, a tourist from Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing November 21, 2002. Ion, Nelog, Nikolai, 34, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Mihai Sabah, 38, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Li Pishang, 41, of China, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Stephen Arthur Cromwell, 43, of Ghana, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Krasimir Mitkov Angelov, 32, of Bulgaria, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Ivan Gaptoniak, 46, of Ukraine, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Kuiping, 47, of China, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 5, 2003. Zhang Wenmin, 50, of China, died of her injuries on January 13, 2003 from a Palestinian suicide bombing. Hale Zabraha Haki, 56, a foreign worker from Eritrea, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing June 11, 2003. Krosti Aratkov, 46, of Bulgaria, killed in a Palestinian shooting attack June 30, 2003 West Gen and while driving a truck. Palaxa Martyrs Brigades claimed responsibility. Goldie Taubenfeld, 43, of New Square, New York, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 19, 2003. Shmuel Taubenfeld, 3 months, of New Square, New York, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 19, 2003. Maria Antonia Reslas, 39, of the Philippines, 
killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing August 19, 2003. John Eric Brancizio, 37, of Texas, killed by a Palestinian bomb October 15, 2003 in the Gaza Strip, along with two other American diplomatic personnel. John Martin Linduck, Jr., 30, of Missouri, killed by a Palestinian bomb October 15, 2003 in the Gaza Strip, along with two other American diplomatic personnel. Mark T. Parson, 31, of New York, killed by a Palestinian bomb October 15, 2003 in the Gaza Strip, along with two other American diplomatic personnel. Patricia Turian Navarrete, 33, of Ecuador, killed by a Palestinian terrorist in a shooting attack November 19, 2003, north of Eilat. Maverick Haifile, 35, of Ethiopia, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing January 29, 2004. Wera Chawang Put, 37, from the Nong Han district of the northeastern province of Udon Thani in Thailand, killed by shrapnel from mortar fire on June 21, 2004. Hamas claimed responsibility. Pravit Nanankam, 24, of Thailand, killed when armed terrorists infiltrated the hothouse area of Kfar Darim in the central Gaza Strip on October 6, 2004. Hamas claimed responsibility. The 2004 Sinai bombings masterminded by Yad Saleh and perpetrated by a Palestinian terrorist group, resulted in the deaths of 34 people. Of them were 12 Israelis, 15 Egyptians, 2 Italians, 1 Russian, and 1 American. Bai Shud, 46, of China, killed when a Qassam rocket hit a packing shed in Ganyaital, in the Gaza Strip on June 7, 2007. The Islamic Jihad claimed responsibility for the attack. Shmuel Met, 21, of Britain, stabbed to death near Jaffa Gate in Jerusalem on August 24, 2005. Jidlata Taparsa, 20, a female Thai national, was killed by a mortar while working in a greenhouse in the Gush Katif settlement of Ganyaital. Rosalia Bisenii, 48, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 17, 2006. Piroska Boda, 50, of Romania, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 17, 2006. Marcel Cohen, 73, of Nice, France, killed in a Palestinian suicide bombing April 17, 2006. Daniel Waltz, 16, of Weston, Florida, USA, died of his wounds on May 14, 2006 from a Palestinian suicide bombing. Angelo Framartino, 24, of Italy, stabbed to death August 10, 2006. Carlos Andres Mascara Chavez, 21, of Ecuador killed by a Palestinian sniper as he was working in the fields of Kibbutzia and Heshlosha on January 15, 2008. Hamas claimed responsibility.